Hey, it's John Conley with Success Real Estate. You know, as being a landlord myself for the last 16 years and working with a lot of investors, the most common question I'm always being asked by my investors is, what can I do in order to be able to make sure that I get a credit-worthy tenant? First bit of advice I'd offer to you would be is to make sure that you pull up their credit. That's the most crucial thing that you can do. Now, a couple of red flags that you need to be made aware of is when someone says to you, well, I don't have credit. Think of that, it's 2016, trying to go through life without having any credit. It's hard to believe that one doesn't have good credit. Second one would be is, well, I don't want you to pull up my credit because it'll diminish my credit score. Although it is true, every credit inquiry will diminish a score. Nine out of 10 times when you push the issue and you look at their credit, it's usually because they have bad credit and they're reluctant to have you pull it up. So what you need to be able to do is to make sure that you get a credit report done by a credit worthy company. Now a credit report will almost tell you one person's life history over the last couple of years. So my credit minimal standard is 650. I've got other investors that I work with on rentals that say I won't take anything less than a 700 credit score and others will sit back and say I will take a 600 but it has to have an explanation behind it. So what would be that explanation? And I'm always in, in, in trying to be, uh, giving someone the benefit of the doubt, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if someone says, hey, two years ago, I lost my job, or you know, two years ago, or three years ago, during the credit crisis, I um, refinanced my property. I thought I could refinance my property. I couldn't. I had an adjustable mortgage, and I got foreclosed on because my mortgage payment went up four or $500 a month. There could have been a debt. There could have been a divorce. By looking at someone's credit, it will actually tell you over the last two years, have they paid their credit cards on time? Have they paid their car payment on time? Their student loans on time? So on and so forth. And long as they have done that, it may want to, you may want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I hope this was of some help to you. If I can be of any help at all, if you want a list of investment properties that I think are great values, please reach out to me. John at johnconley.com. Thank you.